Hey, quick review and installation instructions for this pull-up or chin-up bar found on Amazon. There's a few different ones. I think they're all the same thing basically, but if you're looking at one that looks like this, I'll put a link in the comments, but um, yeah, we'll show you how it works. My space here, we're gonna do it at the top of the stairs because I know there's framing behind here, so it'll be strong enough. Let's see if it's gonna work for this space, which is 39 and a half inches or 100 centimeters. The construction seems pretty good. Uh, these are like a hard pr plastic, kind of in between a plastic and rubber. So we'll see. I think they're gonna muck up the walls pretty badly, but whatever. Uh, these feel all right. This is a heavy uh, metal. Whole thing has a good weight to it. These plastic clips kind of are the locks that retain it. And uh, we'll try and install it now. So to expand it, you really just have to unthread it. Each side is opposite threading, which will help when we get to locking it. But you just gotta open it up on each side and get close enough to your width. So once you're close to where you want it, then you can, um, you can actually press the middle. Let's see which way I'm going here, that's the wrong way. Because they're threaded the opposite way, you can twist it like that, and then it's going to make it wider on both sides. A little bit of adjusting. Get this close. Now we've got enough kind of stiction. Line it up. And we're going to push. See where my framing is. I'm actually going to move it closer to the edge. I don't want to wreck the edge of the drywall, but I don't want to be off the framing either. Let's try it right there. I'm not a big uh, kind of workout guy, but me and the boys have been doing push-up kind of challenges lately. So we thought, well, let's try a chin-up one too. So because I have my tape measure, I figured I might as well make sure it's even. So I've got it eight inches from the top and uh, we'll see if that's a decent spot once we're on the ground but I'm going to now go over the top like this and cinch it up really tight now now comes the test so to lock it in place, you want to uh, stick these guys in, which means I have to rotate it a little further for that one. These are the locks to make sure it doesn't come off. So those are in. I can't imagine you have to do it any tighter, but should we try it? Okay, so I'm right now about 185 pounds, bouncing a bit. There was no movement at all. So you can see I'm right, 100 centimeters is right at the end of what this can do. So you can see I've got a bit of a thing there. We're about eight and a half. Where do we go from? So let's call it, yeah, eight and a half from the wall. We're a little too far. This side's a little longer. So I might adjust that, but right now, seems to hold me. I'll get that a little bit closer, but you can see there's a bit of a bend, but I don't think it's moving anywhere. And since I have to take it off, let's see what kind of damage it does to the wall. So I just removed the bar because I want to even it out better, but I put a little mark that's the center of the bottom. You can see just a bit of dirt basically, but I don't see really any deformation. It looks nice and smooth. So you could probably take this on and off without much damage to your walls, maybe over time, but came off super quick. So now I've got these better centered. We'll see how quickly this can go up. I've already got it pretty close, but we'll put it on the marks that we had already. And because I did it already, I know where to put it. And also that we gotta go this way. So we go like that them up, push out, and 
the locket. Let's see how close we are. Four. Locked. Locked. Moment of truth. I'm gonna lose my teeth. Oh, I might need to lower it. <laughs> but, no movement. I got a bit of cracking on the wall there because I'm pushing the walls out a bit, but that is solid. So yeah, so far I don't mind it, but we do have a bit of this here, so I have to keep an eye on that because I am at the maximum distance. So hopefully that helps. Thank you.